Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Sagis, welcome to May readings. And today is the first series of readings in May. We're looking very strongly who is coming towards you, what is coming towards you, what is on the way. You may see it, you might not. General reading, as always, might highly resonate with you. Might be one message or two. Take loves, what mostly connects, leave what doesn't. And thank you for all of you who are joining the channel. Much, much appreciation. Thank you for all of you who are always here and supporting the channel as well. For all of you who are coming in and are new, welcome. I hope you find a great energy to look up to and enjoy in here. Sagittarius, let's see who is coming there for you. What is on the way to you? An overarching energy for the reading. Into your power, Nine of Pentacles. Single, others of you very much, uh, an independent Sagittarius speaking of here. Chariot, movement, Five of Pentacles, and Eight of Swords. So I see you quite confident and at the same time, feeling like this is only me. I don't need to show up what hurts and what doesn't. There are certain things here that my Sagis I'm reading right now, you feel like it's better to be left behind than to keep dwell in them. Okay? Also, there is a Sagittarius here who might want to make a big purchase. Take your time and know very clear your options. Because I feel here somebody here might spend for something and later might have a big suffering financially. Okay? Let's see loves. Here you are in the judgment energy. It's more likely a lesson to be learned, a reminder, uh, an awakening to say that. Remember who you are, where you come from, what you're going to do every single step. Ace of Cups. Page of Cups. Eight of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. You have a few great opportunities here, but whatever opportunities here coming, you are willing to put effort into. But don't hesitate to speak up what your desires what do you want, how you want it. Queen of Swords. For some of you, you might have coming towards you a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or a Libra. For some of you, you are having air into your chart. Whatever comes to you, you, you have a lot of what this is for, how this is coming. You, you're not into like, well, maybe we'll go, maybe we'll be there. So I feel here there is something here you need to real, really pay attention what you put in effort and how you put the effort into. All right, let's see. What's this five of pentacles here? Justice, balance, five of 
Four of Pentacles, Hangman, and the World. It's kind of whatever you do the things or how you do the things is changing or they are change through a whole new level in a different way. So whatever or how you do the things are changing. You see here, you are in this nine of pentacles. Five of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles make the Nine of Pentacles and the Libra in the mix. So there is a balance here of who you truly are, finding that given energy, given take, and how to go to the next level. It's kind of, let me give you an example for you to understand what I'm meaning. For some of you, you arrive to a point in life that same old, same old. And instead of growing, you feel getting stuck day by day, more and more. So the thing is, you need to reinvent something, reinvent yourself or do something else on a different way or different level because I feel here the level you are at it's outdated up date you got me loves page of cups what this is for two of cups there's something new on the horizon for you and I feel here it's for your future Whatever it's coming new, you did ask the universe. So for those of you, if you look for guidance or for um, something out there to spice it up, to bring it up, here it is. You are looking very, very highly. But the old ways must go. Absolutely. The old ways must go. It's kind of whatever it is. Don't be afraid to, to say it out loud and go for it. All right, loves. With the temperance, which is your major arcana, very much speaks about be in balance bring balance for those of you who spend too much or dwell in certain things too much you know doing certain things out of border that needs a balance for example others work too much or does certain things way much it's not like you are having an addiction of some kind but feels that whatever it's there or whatever you've done till now got worked on as well eight of swords Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups is missing. And Eight of Cups many, many times is search your cup, where you at. Eight of Cups is that energy of living an old way for a new one so it's a big reinvention for Sagis for some of you single Sagis 
there is someone here that comes forward but you might not be on the same page with them communication it's a must for the things to work out so do not hesitate to communicate so let's see advice or message from the universe six of pentacles Six of Cups, Magician, Three of Cups, and the Fool. Underneath we have Three of Swords. So here we are, loves. There are certain things here that in the past you could done. Now comes a time that only you can balance it. Only you can do the things the right way. And I feel here is... Taking that, that leap you need to because you can to. But most importantly, Sagittarius, you need to figure out what you truly want to go after. Yes, you can overcome it. Yes, you can go forward. Absolutely. So it's time to go. And it's more likely don't look back. But learn from it. Wow. Also like the old ways doesn't work anymore into the new energy. Answering the call, the time is now. Crossing bridges, it's time for healing, connecting, mending and releasing. Embracing enthusiasm. Shut to the heavens with happiness. Embrace the change. Embrace the balance. And most importantly, be you. Miracles. Expect the wanderers to emerge. Because sometimes you, yourself, might be surprised of what could come to you. Release control, surrendering to the journey. Your journey looks beautiful. Be happy for every step. Be receptive for the things that's coming and go after them. And as we go, we've seen Eight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups is missing. Let's see, loves, where's the Eight of Cups? Eight of Cups, show me at this time, please. Thank you. Let's see. 
So eight of cups is right here. Queen of cups, five of wands. Many of you, my my experience is like all these people say whatever they say. Let them say, allow them, but don't stay. If someone wants you to play a game, I don't feel like you will. Because you are going towards something totally new, beautiful. And the sun very much speaks about a rebirth. You know, the hermit goes towards the Ace of Cups. But couldn't be better having the sun. Love and light loves, and I thank you for coming and watching this reading and be here. Many blessings. Namaste.